hey girl welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome if you read the title of this video then you know um this video is about you know me just showing some of the staples in my beauty routine um meaning these are products that i pick up every single time i do my makeup um, and I just wanted to share them with you in hopes that some of my favorites may become some of your favorites. You never know. Or if you've been thinking about trying a product, this video is for you because I might have it in this video. You never know. But we're not even going to waste no time. Let's just get straight into it. And it's not going to be a step-by-step uh, beauty routine video. I'm just going to be showing you the products that I use and how I use them when I use them. That's it. First product I have is the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Blurring <laughs> CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Blurring Serum. And this is it. So this product, um, this is a recent pickup. Uh, I seen it in Kroger and I was like, hmm, I, I need to try that, you know? So I picked it up and I tried it for the first time the other day and it was, it was love at first sight, love at first use. Cause <laughs> I, I just love the way my makeup turned out after I used this and now it's become a staple in my beauty routine. Um, it is white. Obviously, it doesn't show up on the skin white, but it is white inside the tube. Um, and I did already prime. Um, so my, my primer is a little, you know, dried down already. And after my primer kind of dries down, then I go in with the serum, the blurring serum. And I just kind of dab it on my face. Like you would, I just do it like I would do a primer. Okay. You get my nose, cause that's, that's where all my imperfections show. <laughs> okay. Okay, so my next product is this Ultra Fine Brow Definer. I actually got it in an Ipsy package and it's been in my collection since. Like this is the only thing I do my brows with. It has, you know, like most brow pencils, it has the brush on one side and then the actual brow product. See, right now, you choose to do this right now. Then the actual brow product on the other side. So after I prime and I put the serum on, I usually go straight into my brows. <laughs> Warned y'all that this wasn't a step-by-step -step routine because I just went ahead and did my brows and you know, cut them and conceal them and conceal my um, eyebrows under my eyes and stuff like that. They're not completely done, but I know they're gonna get ruined as I'm doing my face, so I don't really, you know, they're, they're not perfect and that's okay. But the next product on my list is this. The Pretty Savvy Cosmetic Brush Cleaner. And this one, is for all my this this product is pretty good for all my freelance MUAs. I mean anyone who does their makeup in general but I feel like this will um quickly become a staple for freelance MUAs if there's an already a product like this out there that they already like but this is like an instant brush cleaner and I kind of use this when there's like a brush I may use or I know I kind of want to use but I haven't cleaned it um that's where I use this brush cleaner I just kind of I forgot to use a paper towel um I just kind of spray it 
Oops, did I get some money? Okay, no. I just kind of spray it. And then after you spray it, you want to take a paper towel. Let me just get a paper towel so I can show you how it works. So you just kind of want to spray it. And then after you spray it, I kind of use like a paper towel and just wipe at it. And there you go. Oh wait, you can't see me. <laughs> And it's dry, like it's completely dry and ready to use. Like you don't even have to worry about it. Ugh. I'm like so glad I picked this up. Like it smells good, it's perfect. You can just clean your brushes with it. I do have one of those, uh, those bowl, those, that, that bowl brush cleaner, but you have to wait for your brushes to dry. This is more like instant, like you can use your brush right after you clean it because it's already going to be dry so that i just want to show you guys that product before i get into this eye look um because i'm going to clean some of my brushes that i use that i know i'm going to use with this uh brush cleaner and then i'm going to do my eye and then i will show you all the next product okay so the next product is this nyx wonder stick Ugh. you guys i used to be such a um such a powder contour person but now cream contour is where it's at like i'm telling you if you haven't tried cream contour do it like i used to be so so scared of cream contour like I would be scared that I couldn't blend it and I've been missing out because cream contour really it's a really it's it's a different type of payoff like uh, it just makes everything look so smooth so blended just well put together and uh, sometimes it depends on how I want it to look sometimes I'll just you know straight up put it on there um, but for the most part I usually rub it on the brush like this and then go in go in okay now that we're all good in that department the next product is of course setting powder um and black opal is my go-to setting powder and i usually use this one uh, the natural beige one but lately I've been picking up this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop setting powder and this is in medium especially um, now that I'm all tan because it's summertime sun's out you know so sometimes I really can't use this because it's a little bit too light for me right now so that's when I pick up this NYX one so normally I wouldn't even use a different type of setting powder than black opal but this one is chef's kiss because if i'm not using this one which is if i'm not using this one which is a staple in my routine i'm using this one so you cannot go wrong with either of these sometimes i use both though like okay let me show. for instance i will take i have a concealer brush that i kind of use but, like I'll just take a little bit of the natural beige one and just kind of use it in the front. Just so I still have that bright under eye going on. And then I'll go in with the NYX setting powder and that I usually just go ahead and you know directly where I placed my concealer okay so my next product are these cokie 
I think that's how you say it, Koki? Correct me if I'm wrong. But they're matte bronzers. Oh my God. I just love these. I got these from the grocery store. So this is a drugstore product. So you can get it from Kroger, Walmart, Rite Aid, things like that, stores like that. Um, I think there's four. I only have two, which is Soul Tan and Heat Wave. Um, I use Heat Wave on myself personally. Um, I might use this one if I want to go more in depth with my bronzer, but for the most part, I just use this one. Um, and it's kind of literally like the powder version of my wonder stick because they're like pretty similar in color if you can see that they're pretty similar in color one's just cream one's just uh powder and plus this is a bronzer and i just kind of use it um after after i've gone ahead and contoured and blush and highlight i just kind of go back in with a bronzer and you know just warm it up some more i mean the contour that i use is already pretty warm but i just like to like uh, it's such a beautiful color okay so last but not least um the last staple of my product would be la flair ny mink lashes when I tell y'all, after I started using these, these are the only lashes I use. They're the only lashes I use. If I use them, they're the only lashes I use on clients or family members or friends, and they're the only lashes I use on myself. Okay, and they do have um, lash glue as well. Uh, this actually, their lash glue works best with their lashes, and I found that out very quickly. Um, this one is white but they also have it in black. I think I have a black one here. Yeah, I never use it, but they also have one in, they also have one in black, if you like black lash glue, which I do. So I kind of use both of these. This one, it's so old and so faded. I really need a new one. But this, I kind of go in with this one on my lid and then I actually put the Le Flair glue on the actual lash and then I put my lashes on. Um, talk about secure, baby, because this combo, this duo right here, the lashes are secure. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pop those on real quick and then we'll set this and get into the finished look, all right? Okay, so this is a finished look. Um, it's giving, I'm going to a wedding or brunch, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the finished look. Um, I know my eye look is like very basic, but I was trying to keep it simple, keep the focus on the products and not you know everything else um but what do you think let's see let's get a close-up okay <laughs> i like it i don't know what you guys but i like it it's nice and smooth everything is blended she's going um everything looks for the most part symmetrical like i like it mm -hmm. uh but thank you for tuning in and don't forget to like and subscribe and turn those post notes turn those post notifications on <laughs> so you don't miss when i post again um which hopefully will be a lot more frequent 
because for a while I was just trying to figure out where I wanted my channel to go but you know now that I kind of know and got an inkling of what I want to do with my channel now um I'll probably be posting a lot more um but everything will be in the description box um I'll have links and product names listed so you don't have to worry about doing all the research or Googling or anything like that. You can just go look in the description, click it, and get the products that you want. If you see anything that you want, see anything you want to add to your routine. But yeah, see you in the next one. Figure it out.